If you don't want to mess around with stencils, there is one other option and it's the selection tool. It has a few different shapes, um, but the one we want here is the magic wand. So what you would do is instead of turning that layer into a stencil, you would block out your base layer with any color. In fact, it can actually be quicker to just block it in with the base pink or green, the hair and skin, before you add any blending. Uh, but it has to be all one color for this to work easily. And then you just select it. And that means that instead of having to fiddle around with a stencil, you've just got an active layer. As you can see there, which means you can just color away inside it. Uh, you will have to, again, you'll have to watch out for sharp edges or gaps, anything like that, because all it's doing is selecting on that area of paint of a single color. Art Rage 5 has a few more options for selections, but it's the same basic process. You block out your area of paint, you select it, and then you work inside it. Now, the only problem with doing it this way is that if you've got a lot of fiddly bits, it can be quite difficult selecting them all and keeping track of everything. And if you stop having a single solid layer of color, it can be very hard to select it again if you accidentally lose the selection or you need to go back later. So either you need to keep a base layer around to select from, or you need to get very good at, say, selecting the background and then inverting it to get the bit you need. So stencils are a bit more work to set up, but you can keep coming back to them whenever you need them. And you them. can move them around and change the shape. You can even have transparent stencils with gradients, which can be quite fun if, say, you want a gradient on the hair. So you can see that there's a stencil gradient. Uh, you can sort of do the same thing with selections. So let's just create a new selection here. Uh, it's feathered, which means it's got a gradient going around the outside. And you could do that with the, um, the magic wand as well. So you might also want to use both that way. So if I want to keep that pink hair, I just want to clean up a bit. Uh, just erase around the outside. So once you're done, change the background if you want to get a nice paper texture, maybe. Uh, sort out the lighting if you want to export it and have it be completely white with no texture. And then I just have to show the layer that I wanted to use and choose which hair colour I wanted.